Hi friends, saxonyl colon is used with caution in all the following conditions except option A, myasthenia gravis, option B, burns, option C, crush injury, option D, tachycardia. Saxonyl colon is the only muscle relaxant which causes vagal stimulation leading to bradycardia. Hence it is good in patients with tachycardia. Saxonyl choline produces hyperkalemia which eventually leads to cardiac arrest. So care must be taken while administering saxonyl choline in following conditions. Burns, massive trauma, crush injury, rhabdomyolysis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, spinal cord injury, cerebrovascular accidents, myasthenia gravis, muscle dystrophy. In burns, massive trauma, crush injury and rhabdomyolysis, there will be increase in the potassium ions in blood. So using saxonyl choline along with this condition will eventually lead to cardiac arrest. Let's have a look into how the potassium ions will increase in the blood in following conditions like Guillain-Barre syndrome, spinal cord injury, cerebrovascular accidents, myasthenia gravis, muscle dystrophy. Here the patient is having a neural inactivity. Due to this inactivity, new nicotinic acetylcholine receptors will be formed. The new nicotinic acetylcholine receptors which are produced as a result of neural inactivity belongs to gamma subtype whereas the normal nicotinic acetylcholine receptors belongs to epsilon subtype. This gamma subtype of nicotinic acetylcholine receptor provides single channel conduction and it's open that eventually leads to hyperkalemia. Let's have some more points. The most common cause of malignant hypothermia is saxonyl choline. Malignant hypothermia is due to the increased intracellular calcium ions. These calcium ions are released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This increased intracellular calcium ions leads to excessive muscular contraction and rhabdomyolysis. That's the pathophysiology behind malignant hypothermia. First sign seen in malignant hypothermia is increase in the end tidal carbon dioxide. Other features include masseter muscle spasm, increase in the temperature and tachycardia. Drug of choice for malignant hypothermia is intravenous dandrolin sodium. It prevents the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum.